Hi, this is a different video than my normal ones. This is some of the things I've picked up at um, car boot sales. So, I went to two car boot sales on Sunday. So I'll show you what I've got. What I think it may be worth with some of it. Um, I'll go through some of the um, smaller bits first. I picked up this DVD game. I've looked, I think it's probably worth about £10. I paid a pound for that, so I should get a half decent profit out of that. Then I won't go all through these, but I got um, these are actually from a charity shop before the boot sale some Haynes manuals. I got about eight of them for £10. Really, I'd have prefer to only pay about a pound each for those but I sort of thought I'd give them a go they're some older sort of cars now what people sort of collect a Ford Cortina and the Ford Escort and a few other ones so I'll give them a go I think they're probably worth probably about a five pound plus postage so I might get three or four pound out of each one I'll have a go so I'm an expert with this, so I'll see how they go. I've got um, another DVD game. I'm not sure what this is worth. I've seen quite a lot of them for sale. So, probably about £5, £6 plus postage. I've just got to check it's all there, but I think it is. So, something like that, they're quite common. So have we got? Oh, I bought this. Let's see if I can do it. Um, some a set of magnets. Next, I think they called it. See that? It's all there. Balls are in the middle and everything. So I think this is probably worth probably near on ten pound plus postage. I think that's what they seem to be going for. So I think I paid. Pay one pound fifty for that one. And the last game I think I paid a pound for that. And uh, what else did I get? I got this a little glass. It's like Parex, but it isn't a Parex measuring jug. It's made by a company called Arcuzine, made in France. I've read up about them. I think that's probably worth. About five six pound free postage that one it cost me probably about 50p so that wasn't bad i got that bundled up with some other things so um it didn't work out so much i've got an old um 80 style well 1890 style telephone that was the price still on it, two pounds. There's actually one on eBay at the moment like this, um, for twenty five by it now. I think more risk realistically about ten pound plus postage, something like that. But we'll see how that goes. These two as well, an old Oxo tin and a Ladybird book, and the story of flight. They were bundled in with the jug and some Castrol GTX litre cans of oil. So I got a bundle for seven pounds. So and the oil alone is worth sort of four pound a a can. So they basically owe me sort of nothing really. So. Uh, what else did we get? We're going to the better stuff now. I bought that. It's a, a purse. I'll show you. It's a 80s electronic organizer. I've looked it up. It's quite hard to find to make um, Micronta, but it's they make one exactly the same. Radio Shack do. So I think that. 
that is a, a sort of a company from Radio Shack. There's not many around, and I've seen one about £25. I paid £3 for that one. Instructions, everything's in the box. She told me it works, I haven't tried it, I'll have to check it. But if that works, it's a great deal. So it's one of the better items I've got. Then we've got some clothes. Um, some Calvin Clyde je jeans. I got them from a cherry shop. Probably paid too much for them. I think they were five pounds, but I'd be lucky to make much out of them. But I thought I'd give it a go. This is one of the better items. It's a Craig Hopper's Gore-Tex coat, ladies' coat, I think it is. There. Nice coat, it's hardly got anywhere at all, it's in lovely condition. These sort of, I've seen them new sort of, it's make £50 upwards, so I paid a pound for that. So I'm quite sure I'll get about £25 for that. Being the Gore-Tex, that sort of helps as well. So where are we now? Um, some more clothes, some diesel. They're from charity shop, I think they were four pounds. I think they make roughly about ten pounds. So we'll see how they go as well. Probably a bit too much pay for them, but quite new to this. So Armani jeans, men's jeans. They were a pound. Probably about ten, eleven pound pound free postage, I would think. I've looked. That seems to be what they make. There's some better ones in here now. Some more jeans, some Levi's, they are also a pound and I've, they sort of go from sort of 15 upwards so probably trying them for about sort of 20 pound right now, free postage, 25 even maybe, I'll see how they, I'll see what I decide when I try to sell them. And we have got here another pair of Levi's. So I'll try them for sort of similar price. They cost a pound as well, or a pound fifty. They weren't very much. What we got here, we've got some my partner she bought these. Some Victoria Beckham jeans. All the stars are on them. Probably ten to fifteen pound these ones. They also are I think a pound, pound fifty, something like that. Well, they were worth a go. And uh, I think these might be Charles one. She bought these as well. Yep, Gap. Gap Kids. 1969. They were about a pound, I think, so pretty worth. Near on a tenner, something like that. Pre postage. Something like that. We're nearly there now, I think. What I've got. I think this is the last thing, actually, I've got up here. These were the real best buy, these were. I went to the stall and I asked her how much she wanted. I don't know how well you can see it. She said 10. I give her 8. And the soles and that are so good, they've hardly ever been worn. These. I saw a pair of these go yesterday for 36 plus postage. I think these are better, so I quite think I'm going to make about sort of Thirty-five pounds on what I paid for these. Well, probably about thirty pounds actually. But the but they're both very good condition. So I think I did quite well, really. Um, I haven't sort of added up what I spent. I suppose I spent about twenty-five pounds. I, I would hope to sort of get in hundreds. So I'll let you know how I get on. But I just thought I'd show you what I got. And it's mate. I've got the bug now. I've, should we go into them again next week? So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a bit to my my um, usual viewers. It's a bit different to normal, but it's just another thing I like to do, a bit of a hobby. And I'll be along with another video soon. Thanks for watching.